Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome here to the 28th Annual Nebraska Cattlemen's Classic. On the south side of the ring this morning, we're going to have our Angus show, followed by the Limousine and Galve shows today. We'd like to recognize assisting us in the ring all week is our students from Southeast Community College. So thanks, guys, for being here and helping us. You're going to get a workout before the event is over. At this time, it's my pleasure and honor to introduce the president of the Nebraska Cattlemen's Classic Board of Directors, Mr. Dave Gertz. Dave is a Hereford breeder from Berwyn, Nebraska. Thank you, Ryan. I want to welcome everybody here this morning. I also want to be uh, to introduce the judge for today. Uh, Todd Herman is from Ohio. Been around the livestock business all his life. Grew up in it. Uh, and at one time was a uh, big part of the Lone Street, uh, Lone Star operation in Texas. Welcome you, Todd. And we're ready for the first class. At this time, it's our pleasure to recognize KRVN. KRVN has been a sponsor of the Classic all 28 years, and serving as our official MC of all of our shows here at the Classic is Miss Susan Littlefield. So thank you for being here. I also want to introduce and take a moment to recognize the new director for the Nebraska Angus Association is sitting up front with us here. Margo, why don't you give him a wave? Please stop by and visit with her. We're excited to work with the Nebraska Angus Association and welcome her here to the Classic. On the north side of the ring, we're going to start our Simital show. And again, recognizing our students from Southeast Community College. And Dave, if you want to join me back up here and introduce our judge for the Simital show. Ty Bear from, uh, let's see, Wisconsin. And uh, involved in a uh, Angus and Red Angus operation. Showed a lot of uh, champions at Junior Nationals, Louisville and Denver. Uh, we want to welcome Todd here. And I'm, we're ready for the first class. Ty. Now we're going to turn it back over to Susan Littlefield with KRVN. Well, good morning, everybody. It's time. We're ready to judge this first class. This is class one, lot 41, born April 3rd. And here's your reasons. Good morning. What a nice place to start out with this April. Heifer calf, and one that shows a big, big future in front of her, the way this one's put together. You like the design. You like it. a lot of things about this one as far as her overall look and shape and, and natural ability to move out here. Just an excellent, excellent female to start this Angus show out. Congratulations in class one. It'll be lot 41, Adam Oldermeyer, and also that will be your early spring heifer champion as well. It is time to bring in for class two. These heifers will be born from February 2nd to February 15th, class two. Good morning and welcome to the 2019 Foundation Simmental Female Show here at the Nebraska Cattlemen's Classic. In the ring currently is Class 1, two entries. These females born between February 5th and February 28th, 2018. They are half-bloods. Lot 38 is consigned by J6 Farms and Lot 36 consigned by Cisco Brothers Cattle Company and LZ Farm.
Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, certainly looking forward to today again. I had a privilege to do the Herefords yesterday, and, and the quality was tremendous, and I'm looking forward to the Simmental show here uh, again this morning. And uh, two outstanding half-blood females here, both February born, and um, you study these cattle on paper, they're still pretty similar yet, but uh, I still think there's a lot of quality in both these females. You know, the female's going to start the class here for me. Um, just simply offers more quality of look and balance in the side for me. I, I love how needy she is about the shape to her neck and how flat and smooth she is into her shoulder. I love the look and balance and quality this female gives you from the side. She's got a tremendous amount of athleticism there to her when she gets out and goes as well. I think just a really nice female here to start this class off with. There's no question, probably the stouter, more powerful female here comes in second. I love the shape that this one has. She, she's so good in terms of her forerib shape. Her center rib and body is tremendous. I love how stout hip she is, and she's really big out through her pin set there as well. You know, just to be ultra critical on this one, I just like to relax her and set to her past her nervous so slightly. She may be, for as much stoutness as she has, she's a little smaller footed. But I don't think that takes away from her added functionality and longevity here. Uh, just two really outstanding females here to start our Simmental show. Results from Class 1 in the Foundation Simmental Female Show. Winning the class will be Cisco Brothers and LZ Farms, Lot 36. Second, J6 Farms, Lot 38. Let's welcome now into the ring Class 2. These females born May 27th, again, half blood, and we have Spencer Hoved. Boy, what an excellent class of these February Angus heifers. This one to lead off. This is a big time heifer right here. I mean, what the way this one's put together, the look of her, the extension, you know, the angularity and femininity of this heifer is just incredible. And then the amount of rib shape that balances everything up on this particular female. Uh, this is a really good one right here to lead off this particular class. And this heifer in second is sure one that you like from a brood cow standpoint. I mean. Real good body, real deep from one end to the other and from rear to front, fore flank, a female that you really gravitate to for her overall look as a brood cow and yet still has extremely good at the ground as you watch this female move. Now this heifer in third is sure one that you like for her overall build. You like how thick she's made from one end to the other. She does have some natural thickness from one end to the other, a heifer that's good at the ground as well, as you watch that one move, just not quite as uh, overall, doesn't have quite the overall style and balance as what we've got in the two that walked out ahead of her. And then the young lady's heifer that comes in behind her, sure one that you like from uh, her straightness of lines, or re she's real level hip kind of female, just not quite enough of her as far as her body, but a real good looking one when she gets her parked out here. Give them a nice hand, real good class. Really nice single entry here in our half-blood division on the Simmental side. And uh, I made Brett Heffer here, and I love the utter attachment and the utter development in this female right now. Super good in terms of her teeth size and spacing. I think you really got to admire that about that female. And that only amplifies her added look and function in terms of her build, I think. You know, that's a super maternal, uh, good sound structure kind of a female that's going to make a great brood cow prospect here. A uh, really nice single entry here to, in our half-blood show. As we head to the south side of the ring, congratulations, results of class two. First goes to lot 37, Cisco Brothers, LZ Farms. Second is lot 38, Lazy H Ranch, Kansas LLC. Third is lot 40, Deathless Angus Ranch. And fourth is lot 39, Deathless Angus Ranch. Entering the ring now will be class three. Class three, these heifers are from January 20th to January 24th. Welcome back to the north side of the ring on the Simmental Show. Exiting with his class two, winning the class, lot, lot number 35, Spencer Hoved. Now we'll move into class three, two entrances here. These heifers born between February 21st and February 22nd, 2017. And first will be Foreman Goki Cattle Company, and then we'll have YR Simmentals. Following this class, we'll move into our champion selection from the Foundation Females.
another excellent class. These Angus heifers get into these January heifer calves and sure wanted to lead off this particular class with real good looking female that uh, offers a lot as far as her overall look and her build. A heifer that uh, puts a lot of really nice things together. You really like how flat shouldered she is and then comes back into a really nice rib cage. There, a female, ask that one to take off and go. She's super, super sound uh, in that regard. And we've got a little bit different kind coming here in, in second. Second and third pretty, really pretty close. It just kind of depends on, on what you like. There's a little more heifer here in second, I think, as far as overall muscle shape and design. A female, living. this young lady gets her stuck out here. She gives you a real good look. Uh, as far as a profile standpoint, this heifer here in, in third is sure one that is really a broody looking kind of female. You really like the amount of body and shape that she has uh, from one end to the other. She's just a little bit flatter made kind of female, not quite the bone work in her as what we've got in the two cattle that walked out ahead of her, but excellent, excellent kind of brood cow. Give them a nice hand in this January class. Get in over here on the percent semi side here and uh, you know you want to talk about two females out here I think that are just tremendous brood cows in the making uh, cow or cattle that are super powerful and stout uh, just I, I love the stoutness and power in both these cattle tremendous and body and rib shape is so good but I, I think on the top end of this class we just up the ante here a little bit uh, uh, this female I think is tremendous in terms of her look and balance uh, not only with that that high quality look uh, you can tell that female just calves but it just goes to show how true and and natural her true rib shape is. I really admire that about that female a great deal. And just to amplify her at a maternal look and, and quality, uh, a beautiful utter structure on that female in terms of teeth size and spacing. Uh, I love how level and uniform that is. Uh, just an extremely high quality one there. And that's a pretty nice little rascal there to, to follow up behind her as well. Uh, just a, another stout, powerful one. Man, that, that young man brings us a really big footed, a heavy structured female. I love how stout and powerful she is. You know, that one's definitely starting to show that she's pretty close to calving here as well. She just maybe isn't in type of the same type of league as our class winner in terms of front end quality, how smooth and flat that one is about her shoulder. But that one's got a tremendous amount of functionality and doability about her. Two really good females there to close out her percent Cindy show. Head over to the south side of the ring in class three. First went to lot 35, 11 Mill Iron Ranch. Second went to lot 36, Holman Angus. And third to lot 34, Dagger or Angus. Now a selection of your early winter heifer. Welcome back to the north side of the ring as we just exited class three, taking first Foreman and Jakey Cattle Company with lot 32. Second, YR Simmentals. Let's welcome back now to the ring for our champion selection from class one, Cisco Brothers Cattle Company, LZ Farr with lot 36. From class two, Spencer Hoved with lot 35. And from class three, Foreman and Jakey Cattle Company with lot 32. Oh, we're going to pick this second division here in the Angus show. And boy, we just had just two classes in this division. But boy, you get these two class winners out here and even these seconds. Sure, some cattle that you really gravitate to for a lot of different reasons. Their type, their kind, their, the way they look out here. The females that are really, really good as far as their structural correctness, how they can move and, and yet have enough look to them. And uh, as far as the show heifer and uh, females that look like they're going to go on and make really nice cows when they get to that point. In this division, it's real easy for me. I mean, the two that I like and the one that's going to win is this February heifer down here, the one in the first class. The reserve will be the January, the one in the second class. Give them a nice hand. Congratulations. Results, congratulations, your early winter heifer calf comes out of lot 37, Cisco Brothers, and your reserve is lot 35 for 11 iron mills. We will be moving on to the selection of your champion Angus female.
as we get over here on the percent semi side, uh, selecting the champion female out here. Uh, uh, not a lot of numbers, I think, within this breed here this morning, but you can definitely tell there's a tremendous amount of quality in all these females. We get them back out here. Uh, I guess my hat's off to these consigners for bringing an excellent set of cattle here today and this morning. Uh, not only if you're looking just to uh, improve your cow herd with some real maternal looking uh, uh, cow prospects there on, on the far end, or if you're looking for one to drag around uh, this next year and show and be really competitive at a lot of shows, I think the they brought you a great set of a great set of cattle out here to do that with that with this, within this breed. So with that being said, I think there's two females out here that are just tremendous in terms of quality and look and balance. Uh, I guess it, it's pretty easy for me as the young ladies out of the oldest class. Give me our champion female out here and reserve. I'm going to follow up with the young man's young calf out here on the front. Congratulations to you both. Your champion foundation Simmental female that is coming from class three, Foreman and Jakey Cattle Company with lot 32, born February 22nd, 2017. Your reserve champion foundation Simmental female will come from class one, Cisco Brothers Cattle Company and LZ Farr with lot 36. Well, there weren't a lot of numbers here in the Angus female show, but you get these three heifers back out here to pick a champion, you can sure see that there was a lot of quality. It's just been real impressed for me to go through this show, no more numbers than what was in it, and have this much quality stand out here. And we've got a, a single entry up here that won this first division, and I talked about her in that class and division and how much future she's got in front of her, a big, big future, the way that one's put together, and then the, the February heifer that won the next division, walking there, sure one that you gravitate to as well, as far as her overall look and build, and, and just incredible the way that heifer looks out here, and you know, that reserve to her in that division, sure one that brings a lot of really good things to the table as far as her overall uh, phenotype and what she has to offer. So, I mean, this has been incredible, just most impressive for, for me to go through this sh show and this female show. It, the heifer that's gonna win this is a February heifer and the January down there that was reserving that division will be reserved grand. Give them a nice hand, congratulations. Congratulations, your champion Angus female comes out of lot 37, Cisco Brothers, and your reserve champion Angus female is lot 35 from 11 Mill Iron Ranch. We're moving on now to the Bulls. This will be class four, born April 2nd. Welcome now to the North Ring into the Purebred Simmental Female Show. We're now on Class 4 with Rain Simmental, Lot 49, born May 1st, 2018. When we've got a single entry here and start out the Angus Bull Show with it is the April calf and sure one that has a lot of performance for his age, a lot of natural thickness and, and quality to him as far as his overall build. Sure one that you like as far as uh, his 
being real square in his top and out through his hip. Just an excellent, excellent calf in this single entry. We get into our purebred Simmental show over here, and I think an ultra, ultra good one here to start this uh, purebred show off, man. If a, if a young exhibitor is along ringside looking to dig deep into the purebred Simmental deal, I think this one's pretty good. Uh, I love her structure. I love the build in this female, super big footed and heavy structured. I love the look and balance in that female from the side. I think just a tremendous amount of quality, a tremendous amount of good in that female. Uh, just a great way to start this, the, start this purebred show off. Congratulations. Winning class four, single entry ring, Simmental with lot 49. Now let's welcome into the North Show ring, class five. Again, a single entry with rain Simmental, lot 48, born April 8th, 2018. From the Angus Show, here's your results of Class 4, Lot 33, running J. Angus Ranch. We're moving on now to Class 5 with two, born from March 10th to March 12th. Boy, a really attractive red baldy female here, and a, a tremendous amount of front end quality in this female. I love the way her neck comes in out of the top side of her shoulder. Uh, so smooth and, and correct there, and it angles out of her front end skeleton. But then she transitions so good from there back in terms of the four rib shape, center rib body. I really like a great deal. You know, uh, I know she's fighting a halter out here, but I think a female has got a, got a bright future there, not only in the show ring, but I think also make a tremendous brood cow prospect here. A really nice single entry here. Congratulations. Winning class five, ring Simmental, lot 48 in the North Show ring. In the purebred Simmental female show, we welcome class six with six entrances. Rain Simmental with lot 47, Chad Ruda with lot 46, Allberg Cattle with lot 45, Vogue Cattle Company with lot 44, Chad Ruda with lot 42, and J6 Farms with lot 39. These females born between March 3rd and March 24th, 2018. This second class of these Angus bulls, a pair of really nice March bulls, and sure there's some trade-offs here that you got to figure out. To me, this bull in the wind is just a little more uh, bull at this point. I mean, he's a little bit bigger in his top, a bull that you really like that shape in him, and it stays true out through his hip. A uh, bull that's really stout as far as his bone work and getting parked out here gives you an excellent, excellent look from the side. This bull here in second sure is one that you like as far as his lower shape. I mean, a bull that shows a lot of stifle muscle, a lot of natural thickness. When you get in behind him, uh, he's not quite as good looking from the side for me uh, compared to the, uh, the bull that walked out ahead of me, but sure a good functional uh, industry kind of bull here that ends up being second. Uh, let's give him a nice hand. Excellent pair of bulls.
in class five of the Angus show. First to go to lot 30 to Adam Oldmeyer, and then lot 32 will be second. That's Running J Angus Ranch. Time to make the selection of your champion spring bowl. Gonna pick his first division here in the Angus Bull Show, and three excellent individuals out here in this particular division. Sure, bulls that are gonna go on and make a big impact on where they end up and the cows they get used on, because each and every one of them have something just a little bit different to offer. So it just kind of depends on what you want or what you need in your cows. But for me out here, um, picking two of them out of these three, I like these two March bulls down here. They'll be your champion reserve and in this division. Let's give him a nice hand. And congratulations, your champion Spring Bowl will be Lot 30, Adam Oldemeyer. Your reserve champion Spring Bowl is Lot 32, Ronnie J. Angus Ranch. We're moving on now to start Class 6. Class 6 will have from February 17th to February 26th. Excellent class of March calves here, uh, you know, all the way through here. There's a lot of quality and all, all the all uh, six, five, six of these females, excuse me, out here that um, I'm really impressed with the quality in this class. You know, uh, I don't know if yesterday we saw classes deep with quality all the way through in that Hereford show, but I think that just shows you the type of quality within this breed is what, what these consignments have brought to you here today. And, and uh, I'm going to leave these cattle the way they are. The young man, solid black female, is going to win the class for me. Uh, I think this female is really, really good in her type and kind. I love the quality in terms of look and balance from the side. She is so massive ribbed and so stout and powerful, but yet reads so ladylike in terms of her type and look. And I think she's by far the, the best structured. And I think she is so athletic when she gets out and goes. I, I really like that female a great deal within this class. You know, the blaze uh, white nose female here coming here next is is ultra unique in terms of you starting cattle at the ground. That is one big footed, big legged female that is so robust and awesome in terms of her center rib and body. I love her stoutness and power that that female has. She is really big hip, 
and stout up to her pin set. You know, she gives you a really nice maternal look there from the side as well. Just being a little critical on this one, she wants to open up and roll out of her shoulder ever so slightly. For me, I need to change her in those regards, just a nickel out of her front end structure relative to our class winner. But I think a female that's got a tremendous amount of breeding value and breeding potential, if a guy's looking to incorporate some extra stoutness and mass in their cow operation. You know, maybe the oddball here is the one coming here in third. You know, that's a female that gives you a really nice, uh, a cocky look from the side, I'll say. A uh, female that's really long and extended in terms of her type and kind and her pattern. I love the length to her neck and how it comes in out of the top side of her shoulder. You know that female maybe isn't just a super, super maternal in terms of the shape to her rib right now, but I think that's also the stage of condition that that female is in because she reads right in terms of her fore rib shape. She's got a tremendous amount of shape on her upper rib there as well that I like a great deal. I just need to make her just a little bit softer out through her rear rib and flank to get her any higher in this class here today. Female here coming next, I just love her in terms of her great basic kind and build. That's a really good bodied, good rib female that's got a lot of stoutness and power. I think a great brood cow prospect in the making. She maybe isn't as elite in terms of her type and look and kind, but in terms of her basic function and longevity, I like that female a great deal. I think we had a pair of females, one exited the ring here a little earlier, that are very similar in terms of their type and kind. They're very long and extended females that have a right kind of look in terms of some feminine quality. They definitely got some body and rib shape to them. You know, those are females we just like to make them more attractive and set to their hock when they get out and go. But I think two really nice females to close this class off with. Tremendous amount of quality all the way through those females there. Congratulations. Boy, what a good class of these Angus bulls we get into these February calves. And sure wanted to lead off this particular class with, boy, this is a really nice bull. You start at the ground on this one, the amount of bone this one has in him, and get up from there, amount of natural shape and muscle, and, and then a uh, really good body uh, kind of calf. You ask him to take off and go. You like how wide he is as you watch him go away from you. Uh, just an excellent, excellent bull there to lead off with. Really unique looking one here in second. You really like the shape of him. Uh, he's really good as far as his top and how level he is out through his hip. Uh, calf is just a little more moderate in his frame size or his overall performance. Uh, sure one that you might want to change just a little bit the way he moves or there's Bulls on either side of him that probably move just a little bit better, but sure one that you like from an overall natural thickness standpoint. It's third and fourth gets really close, and you just kind of figure out what you like or how you perceive these bulls. To me, this one that ends up third is real smooth made kind of bull. He's really extended from one end to the other. A calf that's really good as far as his movement. He's really fluid and flexible. You really like his joints. In that bull, a bull that, you know, is pretty green condition-wise, and I think as time goes on, he's just going to continue to get better and better. Young ladies bull, sure one that you like from a natural thickness standpoint down low. A tremendous amount of stifle in that bull. Uh, just not quite the balance in him, but sure, high-performing, extended, excellent kind of calf to end up with in this particular class. Give him a nice hand. Just another single entry here to close out our purebred division here. And this brothel face heifer, I think, has got a lot of good to her. Uh, you got to love her feminine look that she has, a really long, extended fronted female. I like the way she, her added athleticism that she has when she gets out here and moves. I think that female is still good in terms of her body and her rib shape. Uh, just going to be a great brood cow prospect, but yet for a young individual, is going to be one that can, can, can compete in the show ring here as well. A nice way to close out our purebred semi show. Congratulations. Here are your results of Class 6. First to go to Lot 29, Nelson Angus. Second to Lot 27X, and the substitution information is on the bleachers, McPherson Farms. Third is Lot 28, McPherson Farms. And fourth will be Lot 26, Deathless Angus Ranch. In the ring now is Class 7. There are two in this class from February 13th and February 15th. Coming back from Class 6, winning that class was J6 Farms with Lot 39, second Boat Cattle Company with Lot 44, and third Rain Simmental with Lot 47. From Class 7, Rain Simmental with Lot 37. Let's now welcome back into the North Show ring our champion, high percentage Simmental female selection. Coming back from Class 4, Rain Simmental, Lot 49, Class 5, Rain Simmental, Lot 48. 
and Class 6, J6 Farms, Lot 39, Class 7, Rain Simmental, Lot 37. This is a really interesting pair of these older February bulls. <laughs> both of them are real intriguing because they both have something quite a bit different to offer. I ended up using this bull to me has more future look to him. I mean, this calf to lead off this class, you get off to the side of him, what he has to offer as far as his look, his build, you know, how smooth made he is from one end to the other, a lot greener condition-wise. You know, he's given up just a little bit of performance to this bull in second, but an excellent, excellent high-quality individual there. When you really get to look at his angles and his body and how he can move and then uh, how he puts a lot of really nice things together. Now, you want one with performance, you're going to switch them. And there's no doubt about that. I mean, this bull that ends up second is really stout from one end to the other. A uh, calf that is just so big from one end, from his nose to his tail, as far as his body, his shape, his overall uh, composition out here. Uh, to me, he just gets a little more conventional look, and there's not quite the extension in him from one end to the other. Uh, but worlds of performance, that bull will do a lot of cows, a lot of good. If that's what you need in your cow herd, that is a tremendous bull. Both of them, it, give them a nice hand. This is an excellent pair of bulls. Here's the results of Class 7. First, we go to Lot 24, Cisco Brothers, LZ Farms. And second is to Lot 25, Holman Angus. Class 8 is now entering the rings. These bulls will be from February 2nd to February 7th. They'll be four in the class. We get over here to select our champion, purebred, seven tall female. Let's give these consigners a nice round of applause here, though. An excellent set of cattle they brought us here. You know, I sure wish I just uh, they were telling me at the table over there that the seven tall junior nationals are, are here in Grand Island here this next uh, in summer of 2020. And boy, you sure wish with this set of females out here that it was the year of 2019. So it's a tremendous amount of quality in this females out here in this uh, in this champion lineup. Uh, you know, I think you could travel to a lot of shows around the country and, and not find a lineup as good as this at a lot of shows. And, and I think that just goes to show you the quality of cattle that are at this event at the Nebraska Cattlemen's Classic. And uh, like I said yesterday, I knew the quality would be would be exceptional here, but, uh, you know, maybe uh, they up, they definitely up, up the ante here at, at within the Simmental show here. Uh, just a tremendous amount of quality in these females. I think you folks ringside, if you're looking for some females that are going to compete in the show ring, but yet at the same time, going to go out and make some awesome brood cows. Uh, this is this is definitely the the, the spot to be in, and, and uh, what a great way to get in on, on these females out here. So with that being said, I'm not going to talk to cattle. I'm going to go show you the two that I like out here. Congratulations to all these exhibitors, though.
Your champion high percentage Simmental female comes from Class 6, J6 Farms, Lot 39, born 3-3 three, three of 2018. Your reserve champion will come from Class 4, Rain Simmental, Lot 49, Bay, born May 1st, 2018. That will conclude the Simmental Female Shows here at the Nebraska Cattlemen's Classic. We'll now move into the Foundation Bull Show, starting with Class 8, including lots 25 by Rain Simmental and EMS Enterprises, lot 23, bulls born between March 6th and March 12th, 2018. Boy, sure a nice place to start in this older class of February bulls, this young lady's bull, really complete kind of bull. You like the amount of performance he has in him. Uh, calf is really good, testicle uh, kind of bull. One that getting parked out here gives you a really good look from the side. You ask him to take off and go. He's relatively good on the move. This calf here in second, to me, is just a little more complete looking. A calf that balances up a little bit nicer, not quite as big and stout as what we've got in our class winner, but you sure do like the way this one's put together. Uh, when he gets him on a profile out here, he's real level and really square out through his hip, and then he transitions really nice from his forerib into his shoulder. And this calf coming here in third, sure one that you like the pieces. I mean, you just like to put them together a little bit nicer. He's really big body kind of bull, one that's really extended up through his front end. He's real green, and I think as time goes on, this bull's going to continue to get better because the, when he puts on condition, he's going to kind of gather himself up or everything's going to kind of pull together. But excellent as far as that bull's movement, really true and wide as you watch him go away from you in his structure and his skeleton. Uh, I just like to see just a little bit more balance in him. And then we've got a bull that comes in behind him that sure you like the overall extension, just extremely long spine, long overall look to this bull, uh, but he, a bull that just isn't quite as nice out through his hip. You like the amount of shape that he's got down low in his quarter. You just like to square him up just a little bit coming out of his hip. But excellent, excellent class from one end to the other. Give these exhibitors a nice hand. Pair of March bulls out here for our uh, beginning in our percentage uh, Simmental Bull Show here, and uh, I'm going to leave these cattle the way they came in here. And I, I really love the blaze face baldy bull here to start this class off with. Man, what a good neck rascal! I, I love the way his front end skeleton is made, the way his neck comes in, super good out of the top side of his shoulder. I mean, he just reads so masculine, masculine, masculine. Excuse me, in terms of his look. I love his ruggedness, I love his body and his rib shape that that bull has. Uh, just an awesome, super complete bull here to start off our percent Cinematol show. Uh, the, the painted up bull here coming in second, I really admire this bull in terms of his scroll development. I think a bull that's got the right kind of shape and the dimension throughout. I really love the smoothness in that bull from the side. He transitioned so good from front to rear. Uh, he laid in smooth there about his shoulder as well. You know, maybe a bull, you just want to make him more comfortable out of his hip and hind leg when he gets out and goes. But I think a bull that's still got some added masculinity, he's still got some body and rib shape to go with that too. Nice pair of bulls there to start off our show. And here's your results of Class 8 of the Angus Show. First is Lot 18, Schaefer Angus Farm. Second will be Lot 20, McPherson Farms. Third is to Lot 19, J6 Farms. And Lot 17 and Fork, McPherson Farms. In the ring now is Class 9. There are five in this class from January 6th to January 29th of 18. On the North Show ring from Class 8, winning will be Rain Simmental, Lot 25, 2nd, EMS Enterprises, Lot 23. 
Let's now welcome to the show ring class nine with four entrances. Shy Five Simmentals, Lot 19, Bryce Hill, Lot 18, J6 Farms with Lot 13 and 14, Bulls born between February 2nd and February 12th. Good morning and welcome to the Nebraska Cattlemen's Classic Simmental Show here on the North Show Ring. We'd like to introduce our judge once again, Ty Beyer of Ringo, Wisconsin. Ty and his family operate a purebred Angus and Red Angus Ranch. Boy, here's another really good class of bulls from one end to the other. We get into this oldest class here before we pick this division. What a excellent, excellent way to end with in the classes for this division. This one to win, boy, this is a really nice bull right here. Big testicle bull. You like the shape of him, uh, the size of him, and then you get to look at him phenotypically, what he has to offer. Uh, start at the ground on him, the bone work that's underneath him, and just so flexible as you watch him move and complete in his phenotype. Uh, gets him parked out here, just gives you a really, really good look uh, from the side. He, you know, he's not going to blow you away as far as muscle, but everything fits on that bull, uh, and there's enough to uh, balance him all up. And that's what's impressive about this bull here in second, that he is really thick. I mean, as far as natural muscle in one, it's hard to get as much as this calf's got in him. And his top and down low in his quarter and amount of shape that he exhibits out here, he's just a little bit shorter body all the way through and a little bit shorter in his hip than what we've got in our class winner. But excellent, excellent thickness. Really like the build of that bull that ends up being second. Now we get a little bit different kind, or we just get a little bit more uh, moderate in this bull coming in third. You like hit the overall look of this bull. He's really complete in his kind. He just gives up a little bit too much as far as overall performance to the two that walk out ahead of him. But excellent, excellent kind of bull that ends up going third. Now there's a little bit bigger, more extended kind of bull coming here in fourth. I mean, sure one that has the overall length of of body and length of spine. He just opens up a little bit more in his shoulder than I prefer, but you like the amount of natural body depth and shape that he has. Tremendous in his spring of rib coming off of his spine. Excellent when you ask that bull to take off and move. This bullet ends up uh, coming in behind him. Sure one that you like as far as when he's got him parked out here. That bull is really good in his overall shape his overall length of body and spine. A uh, calf that shows a tremendous amount of thickness. He just likes to change that one just a little bit the way he moves. But excellent, excellent quality from one end in, in, in to the other. Give him a nice hand.
here on the Percent Simi side. Uh, we've got some February Born Bulls here, and uh, I think a, a really high-quality one to start off this class with. And, uh, man, I love his look and balance from the side in this bull. Uh, a bull that's still just super masculine in his time, but, man, he's got a tremendous amount of sweep to his rib and his body. you got to just admire that about that bull. I love the shape that that bull's in. I love the shape in terms of his condition that he is in there as well. Tremendous in terms of his scroll development there as well. Just a really nice athletic bull here to start this class off with. The Baldy bull here coming in second. He said these bulls on paper, man, he's the real high API bull within this set. And, you know, I guess I don't let, uh, I don't like uh, EPDs take too much uh, uh, emphasis on what I like to evaluate because I think we still need to evaluate these cattle pretty heavily on phenotype here. And, and I think this bull is still plenty good in those regards. He's got plenty of meat animal shape about him. He's really bold and round there through his center rib and body. You know, the biggest thing for me is why this bull is probably second today. I just like to see him be a bit more flexible at both ends of the skeleton. But man, that bull is going to inject a tremendous amount of shape, a tremendous amount of uh, muscle in, within his offspring. You know, you get a pair of bulls down here that are probably real similar in terms of their basic build and kind. Uh, cattle that are kind of sound and athletic. The next bull coming here next definitely has a way per day of age advantage within this class. You know, he's a really long spine bull that's got a lot of body and a lot of rib shape to him. I just love his added length and performance here within this class. The bull rounding off the class, if you like just a smooth shouldered, a uh, real Cavanese reading bull here, he's coming here next. You know, a bull that's, that's really sound and athletic. You know, he maybe doesn't have that added softness to his rib right now, but I think that's also relative to the type of condition that he's in. I think that bull's in a great breeding shape out here right now within this class. Nice set of bulls out there. Congratulations. As we head over to the sell side of the show ring of the Angus Show, the results of Class 9 before the selection of our champion winter bull. First, we'll go to Lot 9, Cisco Brothers LZ Farm. Second is to Lot 11, 11 Mill Iron. Third, we'll go to lot 10, Growth Angus. Fourth is to lot 16, Holden Angus. And fifth to lot 12, Growth Angus. Now the selection of your champion winter, Angus Bullcalf. Results from class nine of your Simmental Foundation Bull Show. Winning Class 9, J6 Farms, Lot 13. Second, Shy 5 Simmentals, Lot 19. Third, Bryce Hill, Lot 18. J6 Farms, the fourth with Lot 14. Let's now welcome to the ring, Class 10. That'll be all bird cattle with Lot 12. Cisco Brothers Cattle Company with Lot 9. And all bird cattle with a substitution for Lot 11. Please do note that there are the substitution papers in the stands. Again, Lot 11 is a substitution. You can find the alternate paperwork in the stands. A big thank you to the Nebraska Cattlemen Classics Cornerstone sponsors, including Purina, Allegar, Aurora Cooperative, Flat Valley Auto, and Cunningham's Journal. Again, thank you to all of the Nebraska Cattlemen Classics Cornerstone sponsors.
boy, this is a tremendous lineup in this division. It's been quite a while since I've seen an Angus Bull show and that has this much quality in one division. I mean, you really get to looking at these things, how these class winners, what they have to offer, and, and everybody's going to look at them just a little bit different or perception of what's enough muscle or what's sound enough or, you know, what's enough body is a little bit different, but that's good. And being this is a sale, and um, there's no doubt there is a bull out here for everyone, and you might not agree or think that I got the best two, and, and that's perfectly fine because if you like a different one and you're looking for a bull, you can find him out here in this particular division of uh, in this Angus Bull Show. But this is just tremendous, and I'm talking here because I'm trying to figure out what I'm actually going to do, so I'm procrastinating just a little bit. I got the bull to win, and I think there's no doubt that that bull, the bull that's going to win this is pretty incredible as far as his overall build and look and uh, it's just super, super sound. And then from there, you just got to figure out, or I'm trying to figure out where the trade-off is, whether I take one a little bit sounder or one a little bit thicker and, and uh, stouter in his bone work. So uh, as I'm talking here, bull to win, January bull down here. And for reserve, you know, either you stay with that kind or you go a little bit stouter. Um, I can't get away from this bull that come out of this second class right here. He'll be a reserve champion in this division. Give him a nice hand. Well, good morning to all of our FFA students that are here. If we can have all of our FFA students make their way up in the stands, we're going to take a picture. And in just a few minutes, we'll be visiting with you. So all FFA students, please make your way to the stands. Congratulations, your champion winter bull is lot nine. Your reserve champion winter bull calf is lot 24, both shown by Cisco Brothers LC Farms. We're gonna move on to class 10 of our Angus show. There'll be one in this class. December 23rd to 17. On the North Show ring and the Simmental Foundation Bull Show, we move to Class 10 as well. Welcoming to the ring, Allberg Cattle in Lot 12, Cisco Brothers Cattle Company in Lot 9, and Allberg Cattle Company with a substitution to Lot 11. Again, a substitution to Lot 11. These bulls are born between January 3rd and January 27, 2018. Well, here's an excellent December bull. Here in this single entry, really heavy, structured kind of bull, big bone, big footed kind of calf, and yet very, very flexible and uh, good on the move as you watch him travel around here. You like the amount of shape that he has, the overall performance in him at this age. Just an excellent, excellent bull this young man has. Excellent class of uh, February born bulls here, and I guess uh, folks ringside, this bull in the ring right now doesn't get you excited to start this class. Uh, I'm not sure what will. Uh, man, this bull is incredible at the ground in terms of his foot size and shape and 
And uh, you want to talk about a bull that is good looking, but yet super masculine and super rugged in terms of his type and kind, this bull definitely fits the bill there in those regards. I love his body. I love his rib shape. He's so attractive and good out through his hip and the set to his hind leg, I think, is ideal. Uh, just a tremendous bull herd sire prospect here that the young man brought us. I would like that bull a great deal. Bull here in second, I think this falls our class winner in terms of type and kind and balance and look from the side. I think I know when you study both these bulls in second and third on paper, I'd say the bull in third probably has the upper hand there in those regards, but I still like the balance and look in this bull here coming next. I know he's probably a little greener in terms of his stage, in terms of his condition, but a bull that's really good in terms of his scrotal development there, a bull that's got the right kind of shape to him that I like a great deal. You know, I love his balance. I love his look. I just wish there was maybe more bull out here today to make him uh, rival our class winner, just a nickel more. You want to talk about just a low input kind of a real practical made bull is coming here in third. I love his body. I love his rib shape. He's got plenty of shape and dimension and muscle to go with that as well. This is a bull that gets a nickel planter there from the side, but he's still a sound, functional made bull that's got a tremendous amount of body and rib to him. Nice set of bulls. They're a really good one on the top end. Boy, excellent pair of these September bulls. Uh, a little bit different the way they come to us. The bull of the wind is just so, so complete in his phenotype. The way he handles himself out here is just so fluid and flexible. And you ask him to take off and go, and yet sure has enough natural muscle and design to him uh, to balance him up extremely good. This bull here in second is sure one that's really extended. You love how long he is from his shoulders forward. A uh, bull that's really green condition-wise. Uh, just overall length of body is incredible in him. He's just a little bit flatter made than what we've got in our class winner, but sure one that you love the overall extension, the look of him when she gets him parked out here. Just an excellent high quality bull that ends up being second. We're going to take just a few minutes here to visit with our FFA students. Again, thanks guys for coming. You know, the weather dealt some challenges. We had to reschedule your day to today. I want to introduce and recognize the two board members in charge of our FFA day. Off here to my left, George, put your hand up in the air. George Janning, Lance Hainer's over there. Lance, give a wave. Megan, Jacqueline, those are the team that's with you today. At this time, it's my pleasure to introduce Mr. Adam Wagner from the Beef Council. He's going to give you your topic. And remember, today is all about face-to-face -face networking. No iPhones, no laptops face-to-face. -face. So with that, here's Adam Wagner. Good morning. It's a pleasure to be here this morning, and I appreciate you all making the trip here. So today, we're going to talk about a pretty hot topic, and that is fake meat. So your question for today is, what is fake meat, and what is it going to do to the beef industry moving forward? So how is fake meat going to affect the, the beef industry moving forward? And as Renette said, your goal today is going to be to go around, talk to the vendors, talk to the sponsors, make your way around this room, out in the front, ask people what they know about that topic. Um, when you're getting ready to give your speech here after uh, lunch, you'll, have, uh, you'll need to give at least three minutes, but no more than a five-minute speech. Uh, you'll want to reference the folks that you talk to, where you got that information, so while you're talking to them, it's important to look them in the eye, to write down their name, where they're from, what they said, so that you can reference that again in your speech when you, when you talk to us later today. When you're uh, in there giving your speech, it's, a, it's also important to look the judges in the eye. If you have a ball cap on, take it off, right? You want to be as professional as you possibly can, and you want to relay the information that you learned while you were here. So you basically have between now and 11 o'clock this morning uh, to go around, to visit with people, okay, uh, get their information, here, uh, and uh, use that to prepare for your speech. There are two single classes out here, and the, the bull off to my right over here is a September-born bull, and, and man, you got to admire that one at the ground. Big-footed, heavy-structured. I love his masculinity. I love the body and rib shape in that bull. Um, you know, I think just for a single class winner there, the bull's got a tremendous amount of quality to him. I love his shape and his dimension added width that he has. The bigger, older bull here, uh, a bull that's really smooth and good to look at from the side. I love his length on his top line. I love the length out through his hip. Here's another bull that's going to inject some added foot size and shape to, to, his, uh, to his offspring. You know, he's a big, heavy, structured bull. 
Uh, maybe Bullets a bit more upright and his angles out of his shoulder, but I don't think that takes away from his added quality in terms of having some smoothness uh, and balance from the side. Nice set of Bulls there. Looking forward to this champion drive. No pick a senior calf division here in the Angus Bull Show, and there's definitely one to win this particular division in that September Bull. Uh, how complete and massive and high performing that bull is, and for reserve, it gets pretty close. I mean, you just kind of kind of figure out what you prefer uh, a little bit better. I think there's a little bit more quality or a little nicer balanced kind of calf in the December calf. He's going to be your reserve. Give him a nice hand. Congratulations. Results from the North Shield Ring with the Simmental Foundation Bull Show. Class 11, Dijon Ranch with Lot 6. And Class 12, JRT Cattle with Lot 3. We'll now move into the championship selection for the Champion Foundation and Reserve Champion Foundation Simmental Bull. Coming back from Class 8, Rain Simmental, Lot 25. Class 9, J6 Farms, Lot 13. Class 10, Cisco Brothers Cattle Company, Lot 9. Class 11, Dijon Ranch with Lot 6, and Class 12, J Bar T Cattle with Lot 3. Catch you up to date on Class 10, first went to Lot 8, Growth Angus, Class 11, first went to Lot 7, Riddle Cattle Company, and second to Lot 6, Deathless Angus Ranch. Here's your champion senior bull calf of the Angus will be Lot 7, Riddle Cattle Company, and reserve champion senior bull calf is Lot 8, Growth Angus. We've now moved into Class 12. There are two in this class, one born April 1st, the other born May 6th of Excellent pair of bulls in this class and division. We've got the May Bull. Young lady has to win this particular division. Sure one that's just overpowering as far as his performance and look and balance. Uh, cat bull that you really gravitate to for a lot of different reasons. Big Tesco kind of bull. And yet you ask him to take off and go. He's very flexible and really good moving kind of yearling bull. This April Bull that ends up shut second, sure one that you like his quality. I mean, his overall balance is good. Here's another bull that's really good as far as his testicular size. Uh, calf that just gives up just a little bit too much his overall performance. But you really like the way this one's designed, put together. There's no doubt that bull can do a lot, a lot of good for a lot of cows. Excellent, excellent pair of bulls in this division. Here's the results of Class 12 on the south side for the Angus Show. First, we'll go to Lot 5, Schaefer Angus Farm, and second to Lot 4, Noble Farm. That will also be your champion intermediate bull, Lot 5, and the reserve will be Lot 4. We're set to bring in now Class 13, January 18th of 17 and February 20th of 17.
we get out here for a champion percent uh, bull selection out here. And I'm truly impressed with the quality of cattle we've seen here this morning. Uh, I know the heifer show is tremendous, but I think we definitely maybe up the ante here a little bit within this uh, bull division here so far in the percent show. Uh, I love, I love, uh, I love the type and kind of, and the shape that these bulls are in. You know, I think all five of these individuals out here, these class winners, are just super masculine in terms of their look. They're rugged bulls. They're, they read like beef, good breeding beef bulls out here is what they look like to me. Uh, bulls that are going to cover a lot of terrain and, and have a tremendous amount of longevity and function to them. Uh, just a, a lot of bulls with a lot of quality out here for me uh, to kind of gravitate to here quite a little bit. With that being said, you know, I probably didn't study too much in terms of data on papers, and I, I think that's where you, uh, you folks along ringside can kind of go back and talk to these consigners and, uh, and have some good uh, discussion on their, on their cattle of uh, what type of operation they're kind of intending and what type of, you know, EPDs and indexes they try to focus on within their operation as well, and it might fit, you, that fit the needs of what you're trying to look for here as well. So with that being said, I'm going to take one last look. I haven't still quite made up my mind here yet. I want to take one more look at the these bulls and get you a champion reserve out of this division. Congratulations. Well, here's another good pair of bulls to end with this Angus Bull Show with in this class and division. I ended up using this February bull to win. Just so complete looking kind of bull out here. Uh, puts a lot of really nice things together. You, you start at the ground on him as far as his bone work and muscle shape and uh, body that this bull exhibits out here just balances this bull up extremely good you love the condition that he's in at this stage of his life and there's no doubt this bull can go out and cover a lot of cows uh, at his age uh, the way this bull looks as flexible as he is you ask him to take off and go just an excellent excellent bull right here to win this class and division there's no doubt you really gravitate to this bull. It ends up being reserved in this division for his overall length. I mean, the, spot, the length of spine in this bull is pretty incredible. He's really level and square out through his hip. A uh, bull that just doesn't move quite as nice as what we've got in our class winner, uh, but a very functional, uh, practical kind of bull that ends up reserved in this division. Here's the results of Class 13 for the Angus Show. First goes to Lot 2, Hidden Valley Angus. Second is to Lot 1, Schultz Angus Ranch. Champion Junior Bull then will be Lot 2. Your reserve Champion Junior Bull is Lot 1. We're set to select the Champion Angus and Reserve Champion Angus Bull of this year's Cattlemen's Classic. Your champion foundation Simmental Bull will go to Cisco Brothers Cattle Company with lot number nine. Reserve champion foundation Simmental Bull will come from Class A Rain Simmental with lot 25. We'll now move into the final Simmental Show, the 2019 Nebraska Cattlemen's Classic here with the Simmental Purebred Bull Show. Our first class, Class 13, is a single entry. Austin Doctor with lot 21, Marchborn. Excuse me, a two entry class with Austin Doctor, Lot 21, and WL Cattle, Lot 27. Just a reminder to our Angus folks, the sale is at 12.30 this afternoon. If you have not received your bidder number, you can do so today out on the front concourse. There are folks there waiting for you, and they'll get you all set, so you are set to go. Thanks as well to Livestock Legacy for taking all the photos as well from this year's Cattlemen's Classic.
we get into our purebred Simmental division here and uh, two uh, March bulls here. I think that got a lot of good to them. Uh, I'm probably just going to use the bull that simply has more to offer here today in terms of volume and mass. Uh, bull that's probably a little softer, more practical there through his center ribbon body. I like his stoutness and feature that he has. I love his masculinity that that bull has. You know, at times he maybe wants to get a little off there in his hip when he gets out and goes. But I don't think, think that takes away from the added volume and body and rib shape that that bull has. I really admire that about that calf a great deal. You know, here's probably the sleeker neck bull coming here next and a bull that's maybe a little smoother from the profile as well. I like how strong collected he is down his top, top line. He's tremendous there in terms of his upper rib shape. You know, maybe a bull that doesn't have that added depth and softness at this stage of the game, but I like the stage of condition that that bull is in. I like his masculinity and still having some shape and dimension of muscles to go with it. Two nice bulls there to start up here, but it's a tall show. Results from class 13. First, WL Cattle with lot 27. Second, Austin Doctor, lot 21. Welcome now to the ring. Class 14, Rain Simmental with lot 15. And Shy 5 Simmentals with lot 10. Born January 14th and February 4th, 2018. Boy, this is tremendous, and this Angus Bull Show, I didn't know what to expect, but I didn't really expect this coming up here. I knew I'd see some good ones, but I didn't know if I'd see this many good ones, particularly in this show. I mean, this has been really, really good, and if you're looking to buy a bull and you don't find one up here, you're not looking very hard, that's for sure, and I don't know what the data would change on these bulls, and if that's what uh, you're into, uh, there's no doubt there's bulls that have incredible data attached to them too. And it, it might not be one of these bulls that's standing in this spring right now. I mean, it might be one that's already back at the barn that you like and, or is really good numbered or whatever. And that's perfectly fine. Cause I mean that there's a bull out here. There's been bulls throughout this whole show that for everyone, it just kind of depends on, on what you need in your cow herd. You know, I, you get to literally looking at these and I'd love to just talk about each and every one of these, but you heard me talk enough today, and you know, it really doesn't matter what I say about them, you know, as far as what you people want or need in your cow herd, you're gonna buy the one or use the one that you need. So that's, that's what this is all about. Um, and I, there's two, three bull, four bulls out here, just incredible the way they look and what they have to offer. Give them a great, great round of applause. I go show you which two I like in this Angus Bull Show. Real quick over here on the purebred Simmental side. Uh, Going to leave both these bulls the way they came in here. And uh, man, I love the look and balance in this first place bull. Uh, just a real eye appealing, good made, good structured bull. Uh, that's real practical there and about his body and his rib, and he's got plenty of muscle and meat animal shape to him. I guess a really nice high quality bull to start this class off with. Uh, the bull here in second, you know, he probably ups the ante in terms of some added stoutness and power. I love the, how long he is out through his hip. He's a really big hip bull and that's stout out through his pin set. Big footed and heavy structured. You know, he might not be as attractive up through his front end, 
but I think a bull that's super good from his shoulders back in terms of having some mass and volume. A uh, really nice set of bulls there. Congratulations. Congratulations, your champion Angus Bull is lot two from Hidden Valley Angus. Your reserve champion Angus Bull, lot nine from Cisco Brothers. Again, the Angus sale is at 12.30 today. Make sure you get those bidding numbers at the front concourse. We will be having the limousine show starting in that south ring promptly at 10 o'clock. Thanks so much to Perina. Elgari, Platte Valley Auto, and Cunningham's Journal for your sponsorship as well as the great photo work being done by Livestock Legacy. We'll see you back here at the show ring at 10 o'clock. Welcome back to the North Show Ring, where we just exited with Class 14, Rain Simmental winning with Lot 15, Shy 5 Simmental second with Lot 10. Now in the ring... Class 15, both Bullard Cattle Company with lots 5 and 8. These are July to September born cattle. Two nice bulls here. I uh, got a July and uh, and, uh, and a September, I believe. Sorry, yes, we do. And I'm going to use the September bull to win. And and I like this bull's added balance from the side. You know, a really attractive made bull. I like his set to his pasture and more ideal in the length to his hip. A bull is still practical there and still has some body and rib and masculinity to go along with it. But he just ties in so much more collected down his top line and just smoother appearing from the profile as well. There's no question the, the older bull within this class is probably the stouter and heavier muscle. Uh, he's definitely heavier structured with that being said, though. He maybe gets just a nickel coarser there up front. But I think a bull, you got to admire his added stoutness, how long body and extended that bull is. Uh, two nice bulls here within this uh, age class. Congratulations. Results from class 15, Bullard Cow Company with first, lot eight, Bullard Cow Company with second, lot five. We'll now welcome to the ring class 16, Bullard Cow Company with lot four. We'll then follow this with class 17 and move into our champion high percentage Simmental Bull selection. Just another single entry here, uh, getting towards the end here, but an April coming two-year-old bull here, and uh, you got to admire this bull at the ground, man. This might be one of the better footed bulls we've seen here uh, this morning thus far. I love how big and, and square his foot is. I love how uh, he handles his hip and hind leg when he gets out and goes. That's a really smooth, good-looking bull from the profile that's really up-headed and masculine about his look. I think a bull has just got a lot of good in terms of having some added functionality and structure out here. Uh, congratulations to this exhibitor, nice bull.
just another single entry uh, two-year-old bull here, a January two-year-old. But uh, man, this bull's got a lot of shape and dimension to him. I love how big backed he is. He's super stout out through his hip. Man, he carries that depth down through his quarter so well there as well. You know, a bull that's super long body and still kind of smooth about his shoulder there yet. A uh, bull that reads really good in terms of his indexes on paper. I think he's going to be a, a bull that really injects some rapid growth and yet some a bull that's going to inject definitely some added carcass merit and some shape here within his offspring. So a really nice bull to close out this pre-bred Simmental show. Congratulations. Let's now welcome into the ring all of our first places from the Purebred Simmental Show. Coming back from class 13, WL Cattle with lot 27. Coming back from class 14, Rain Simmental, lot 15. Coming back from class 15, Bullard Cattle Company with lot 8. Coming back from class 16, Bullard Cattle Company, lot 4. Coming back from class 17, Allberg Cattle with lot 1. We get over here for a selection of our champion, purebred Simmental Bull. Uh, what a great set of cattle we've seen here in the Simmental Division here this morning. I, I'm truly impressed with the quality that we've seen here this far. I'm um, looking forward to the 
to the Charlie show here in just a little bit here as well. But uh, the quality of the bulls have been outstanding out here. Uh, I think uh, there's a bull out here within, you know, like I heard Todd say over there, an Angus side that fits any type of needs or ten, any type of operation in it. The story, the same, the same story is true over here within on the purebred Simmental side and the percentage show here earlier as well. So with that being said, I think there's a couple bulls that fit the bill for me. Uh, like I said, again, I ask you folks ringside to go ahead and visit with these consigners, uh, learn a little bit more about their operations as well as they'd like to learn a little bit about yours as well and uh, find out what your intentions are with, uh, with breeding cattle. And there's a, like I said, there's a tremendous amount of quality in this whole Simmental uh, division that there'll be, um, th there's, uh, there's definitely something for everybody out here. So with that being said, our champion bull is going to be in one of the second class. I'll follow up with the cl uh, class winner of the first one to be reserved. Congratulations to you both. Your champion high percentage Simmental Bull goes to class 14 winner Rain Simmental with lot 15. Your reserve champion high percentage Simmental Bull will come out of class 13 WL Cattle with lot 27. That will conclude it for the Nebraska Cattlemen's Classic Simmental Show. Again, thank you to our judge, Ty Beyer. We will start next up with the Charlotte Show here on the north side of the show ring. Charlotte show starting at 10 o'clock. Simmental sale coming up this afternoon. Sale time set to start at 1.30 or immediately following the Angus sale. Again, Simmental sale will be at 1.30 or immediately following the Angus sale this afternoon.
Well, good morning and uh, welcome to the Nebraska Cattlemen's Classic. We are going to go ahead and kick off our limousine and charlet show here this morning. We can go ahead and bring these in to the north and south arenas. Here in the north arena, we will have our charlet show and the south arena, our limousine show. Good morning and welcome to the North Show Ring, where we are now starting out with our 2019 Nebraska Cattlemen's Classic Charlet Show. Entering in the ring, we have our heifers coming in. Class 1 will include four entries, including Lot 43, Birchie Cattle Company, 42, Creasy Cattle Company, Lot 41, J. Bar T. Benish, and Lot 40, Creasy Cattle Company once again. These heifers all born between March 2nd and March 15th. And again, in our south ring here, we've got the limousines. Our class one features lot 25 over Miller Gelby and Red Angus with a birth date of 4 7 2018. Lot 23, J6 Farms, birth date 3 2018. And lot 22, David Berry, with a birth date of 3 15 2018. This is our first class of limousine heifers in the south ring. Sorting the cattle in the North Ring today for our Charlene show is Ty Byer of Ringle, Wisconsin. Ty and his family operate a purebred Angus and Red Angus operation. We well, a nice trio of limousine heifers to start out this show with. Ended up using one of the March heifers to win this particular class. A real good looking kind of female. You get off to the side of her, you really like how straight line she is and level and square hip. A female that's really good at the ground as you watch this heifer move. Sure has enough extension and future look to her to go on and, and do a lot of really nice things as a, either a show heifer or a cow. This heifer ends up second, just more brood cow look to her. You really like the natural body shape she exhibits out here. A uh, female that uh, extremely long in her overall length of body and spine, real good in her bone work as well. And we've got the red heifer that ends up third. Sure one that you like that kind. You just like make that heifer just a little more extended. But a female that exhibits a lot of muscle shape and, and natural thickness out here, a uh, heifer that you'd like to just stouten up just a notch, but real good in her overall build. We get started here in the Charlet show and uh, four nice March born females out here. And uh, I'm going to use the young lady's female to win this class. And I love the length and extension of that female from the profile. She's so long and elegant up front. I love how she transitions from her shoulder into her forerib shape and her center rib and body. Uh, really a long hip female, that's super square in terms of her build. Uh, I think just a really nice high quality one here to start this class off with. And uh, you know, maybe a female that's a bit more modern type and kind, but has got a tremendous amount of quality, comes here in second. I love her low input cow look that she has. She's a female that gives you a really nice profiling, striking look from the side. You know, maybe a female that isn't quite as comfortable in the set to her pastern at the ground, but I love her body, I love her rib shape. Uh, really just a high volume female there to go in second. Uh, maybe a couple of females here coming next. I love the added performance in this female coming here in third. She's a really long bodied female who's super extended and elegant in terms of her look. You know, I just like to stout this female up in terms of having some extra shape and power to her, but I love the length and extension of that female a great deal. The female that's going to round off the class is definitely the freshest and the most useful in terms of her look. A female that still has some turn and shape to her center rib and body. You know, that female for us, like I said, I like to stout that. 
relative to the female there in third. I like to stout her up as well. I maybe like to make her more coordinated out of her hip and hind leg when she goes. But three, four, excuse me, four outstanding females here to begin our Charlotte show. The top of that first class of limousine huffers this morning, lot 22, David Berry. Second, J6 Farms, lot 23 and lot 25, rounding out that class over Miller, Gelby, and Red Angus. The second class of limousine huffers this morning features lot 20, Bullis Creek Ranch, and lot 19, M&M Farms. These are February 2018 heifers. Getting into these later February heifers. Two pretty unique kind of females in this class, a real square level built, one ear to win, this black heifer, you really like her out through her hip. A uh, female exhibits a lot of muscle shape and natural thickness for a female, yet sure has some extension up through that front end to go along with that. Uh, heifer ends up second. Uh, heifer you really gravitate to as far as her overall body. I mean, you love the natural depth of body we see in this particular female. Uh, heifer has got an extreme amount of overall length of body and length of spine. Just gets a little more refined in her bone work uh, to our, compared to our class winner, but sure really has a real good brood cow look to her. On the north side of the show ring, results from class one of the Charlotte Hamper calves. Lot 43, Birch Cattle taking first. Lot 41, JRT Benish taking second. Crescent Cattle Company taking third and fourth with lots 40 and 42. Now in the ring, class two with lot 39, Lazy H Angus, and lot 38, Benish Cattle Company. These are February born. Two really nice February heifer calves on the Charlotte side, and uh, I'm going to leave these cattle the way they came in here, and man, just a real stout, powerful one here to start this class off with. I, I love how collected she is in her top line. I love the length and the squareness out through her hip. She's really attractive at the ground and the set to her hip and hind leg. A uh, female, I think, that's got brood cow written all over. Uh, just going to be a great breeding prospect there for, for any uh, young individual there. I think just a great cow prospect here to start this class off with. Uh, nothing to take away from the female here in second. I think this one gives you a nice high-quality look there from the side. I love her practicality in terms of having some moderation, having some body and rib shape to go along with it, and still has plenty of stoutness and power. You know, maybe a female at a time just reads a nickel rounder in her type and kind. She gets a little rounder there out of her shoulder. But I love the moderation. I love the added volume that female has as well. Two nice Februarys there. In our south ring, that second class of limousine heifers, top of the class, m and heifers. With lot 19, lot 20 coming in second, Bullis Creek Ranch, we now have class three featuring lot 18, M&M Farms, lot 17, Hunt Limousine, and lot 16, Knowles Limousine. These are a class of early February 2018 limousine heifers. Results from class two of the Charlotte Heifer Cavs. Lot 39 wins class two, Lazy H Angus, Kansas. And then Lot 38, a Benish Cattle Company in second. We'll now bring in both the winners from Class 1 and 2. From Class 1, Lot 43, Birch Cattle. And from Class 2, Lot 39, Lazy H Angus. And they will be in selection for champion and reserve champion Heifer Calf. Getting into these older February heifers, sure a place to start in this particular class of female that puts a lot of really nice things together in her overall phenotype and soundness and structural correctness. Uh, heifer is really easy to look at when you get off to the side of her. Uh, heifer is really good in her spine and out through her hip, really level in that regard. Just excellent kind of female here to use in this particular class. Getting into second and third gets pretty close. You kind of got to figure out uh, what you like or what you prioritize that a little more bone work in this female and second one that to me is a little more genuine in her shape 
as far as your natural thickness and design, uh, one that you really like when you get your park out here, she gives you a really nice look. And the same as the one here in third, this heifer is really fresh looking out here condition-wise. Uh, heifer probably doesn't move quite as nice as what we've got in the first two, but a female that really good in the overall build of this one, uh, just loosen her up as you watch her go. Over here on the Charlay side, uh, looking to pick a champion in this calf division. And uh, I think you folks ringside got to be truly impressed with the quality we've seen here with just these four females when we get them back out here. I think if there's some uh, young individuals looking for some heifers to show here uh, yet again this summer, but uh, in the long run, uh, looking for some females there to make some awesome cows and just uh, uh, with a lot of look and style with them, I think there's a great, all four of these uh, females are, are great in those regards. So with that being said, I'm going to keep the two class winners together. The young lady out of the first class and her have her champion. The young man out of the second class out of reserve in this division. Congratulations. Results from that third class of limousine heifers. Lot 16 coming in at the top, Knowles Limousine, Lot 17 in second, Hunt Limousine, and rounding out that class, Lot 18, M&M Farms. We now have a single entry for our fourth and final class of limousine heifers, Lot 15, J6 Farms, with a March 2017 heifer. Boy, a nice way to end the limousine show with this bred heifer out here. Just extremely good in her type and kind, real fresh looking out here. Females just excellent in her structural correctness, way this heifer can move around out here. You really like how up-headed she is, the extension that we see up through that front end. Just an excellent, excellent brood cow prospect we've got in this last class. Just a single entry here on the Charlay side and a November-born female that uh, I think could sure stand a lot of competition. Uh, I think a female is so good in terms of her build and her structure. I love this one at the ground in terms of her foot size and shape. And yet she still reads super maternal from the side and is real ladylike in her type and kind. I really love the length and the squareness in this female that she offers. A super nice uh, single, single entry here. Congratulations to you. Give you an update from the North Show Ring, the Charlay Show. Our grand champion heifer calf will be Lot 43 Birch Cattle. Our reserve champion will be Lot 39 Lazy H Angus. We just saw exiting the ring Class 3, our intermediate heifer, Lot 37 West Fork Ranch. Now in the ring Class 4, Lot 36 Purple Visions Cattle. Just another single entry here uh, to close out the female show in the Charlay division. And uh, I'm March Brad Heffer here at Studio Cab in mid-March. And, man, you got to love the, the front end quality in this female. I love the way her neck comes in on the top side of her shoulder. She's so ladylike about her head and the shape to her neck. She still reads maternal there in terms of her body and rib and is, uh, is uh, starting, to ha pr pr uh, starting to lay down a nice foundation there to her other structure there as well. Just a sound, good structured female here to close out our uh, purebred cinematol, or excuse me, uh, Charlay show here. Congratulations. Joining us back in the South Ring for the limousine show, we've got the top two from each class for selection of grand champion and reserve grand champion at limousine female. This will feature, or does feature, lot 22, David Berry, lot 23, J6 Farms from that first class, from the second class, lot 19, M&M Farms, lot 20, Bullets Creek Ranch, class 3, lot 16, Knowles Limousine, lot 17, Hunt Limousine, and that fourth class, Lot 15, J6 Farms. Again, this is for selection of Grand Champion, Reserve Grand Champion, Limousine Female.
Well, before we pick a champion limousine heifer, it's been another show that's been real impressive and wasn't a lot of numbers in any of those classes, but it was sure cattle that you could find it in each one of these classes that you liked and it had really a lot of really nice things to offer. And there's no doubt that a number of these heifers, you want to buy them to go show them or you, you're buying them for a cow, they're going to work. I mean, they're super, super sound as you watch these females move. Uh, there are heifers that have some extension to them and yet some future, uh, some grow left in them. So this has been really impressive to me. The one to win is the red heifer that won the last class. She'll be your champion limousine for reserve. I like this heifer that won the first class. Give them a nice hand. Congratulations. Congratulations to Lot 15, J6 Farms, our grand champion, limousine female at the 2019 Nebraska Cattlemen's Classic Reserve. Grand champion going to Lot 22, David Berry with that March 18 heifer. Grand champion receiving $300 and reserve grand champion $150. And Randy with Purina joined us to give those out along with a vest. A thanks to all of our Cornerstone sponsors here today. Pure and Feed, Allegari, Aurora Cooperative, Platte Valley Auto, and Cunningham's Journal. Over here to select our champion, Charlay, female. Uh, you folks from inside got to be truly impressed with the quality here this morning that we've seen here within this breed. Uh, it speaks volumes out here all the way from our calf division to our to our bred female here on the far left. Uh, uh, just a tremendous amount of quality in these cattle all the way through here. And uh, again, I ask you folks from inside to go back and visit with these consigners on this uh, high quality set of females. Uh, not only is there some show heifer prospects out here, but uh, some tremendous brood cows in the making out here. With that being said, that is a pair of females I think that fit the bill for me. Uh, just up the ante a little bit in terms of uh, having some extra look and style and presence. I'm going to keep the two heifer calves together out of the first division. They'll be champion reserve out here. Congratulations. Your champion, Charlene, female, the 2019 Nebraska Cattlemen's Classic will come out of Class 1, Lot 43, Birch Cattle Company. And then your reserve champion, Charlene, female, the Nebraska Cattlemen's Classic will come from, lot, er, from Class 2, Lot 39, Lazy H. Angus. We now roll into our limousine bull show in the south ring here. This first class, class six, features lot 12, Hunt Limousine Ranch, lot 11, Hunt Limousine Ranch, lot 10, Knowles Limousine, and lot 9, Auctioner Limousine. These are bulls from February 2018. Just a single entry here, and we get into our Charlotte Bull division. But man, I love the I love the length and the masculinity in this bull. That's a really thick top, thick ended bull. That's uh, super bold and round there in terms of his center rib and body. A uh, bull that I like a great deal just in terms of his athleticism when he gets out here. Just a good footed, sound structured bull to start this class off with. Congratulations.
And with that, we are now underway at the 2019 Bull Charlet Show here at the Nebraska Cattlemen's Classic, just exiting the ring, Class 5 with Lot 32. That was McIntosh Chank Charlet with the late March born. We'll now enter into the ring. Boy, what a really good class of these February limousine bulls and definitely one to win here in this particular class. Real smooth made bull. You really like how he transitions from one end to the other on this particular calf. Uh, everything fits together extremely good on him. He balances up really nicely. A uh, calf that's really sound as you ask him to take off and go. Just an excellent high quality individual here to win this class. This bull ends up seconds a lot the same kind. He's just not as smooth made as what we've got in our class when we're really impressed with the amount of top shape that he has. He's real, squ real square made out through his hip as well. I just, just like to fix him just a little bit right there in his fore rib and shoulder, but real good bone work underneath that one as well. Uh, just an excellent, excellent bull again that ends up going second. We've got a real thick made one here in third. If you want more muscle in your cows are right, here's your bull because he is so impressive in that regard big big hip in him really good in his stifle amount of muscle that he's exhibiting there just an excellent excellent bull as far as his overall shape and we've got more of an extended kind of bull that ends up uh, following him you sure like the condition this one's in but with that there's not quite as much bull there yet but as there's no doubt as he continues to feed, he's going to get extremely good with his overall extension and, and uh, look that we exhibits out here. Just an excellent, excellent class from one end to the other. Now in the North Show ring, it is Class 6 of the Charlet Bull Show with Lot 27, Love It, Amos Charlet, and Lot 26, West Fork Ranch, both early March-born bulls. Results from that first class of limousine bulls here in the South Ring. Coming in at the top, Lot 9, Auctioner Limousine with that early February 18 bull. Second, Lot 12, Hunt Limousine Ranch. They'll also take... The third place spot, lot 11. And then rounding out that class, lot 10, Knowles Limousine. We now move into a couple of single entry classes. This one, class 7, features lot 6, David Berry. Over here in the Charlet side, uh, two high quality early March born bulls here. And uh, I'm going to leave the cattle the way they came in here. And I, I like the added length in this bull here that's going to start the class off with. That bull is a really long spine bull that's square out through his hip. I love his length and extension from front to rear. That bull's got plenty of shape and plenty of muscle to him. He still has, he's still good there in terms of his center rib and body. I think this bull is just simply more collected for me when he gets out and sets in motion. Probably the bigger footed, heavier structured bull is going to come here in second. I like this bull's added body and rib shape and softness that he has. He's got plenty of stoutness and plenty of power out here. You know, maybe a bull for me, I'd like to lengthen him out a little bit from the side. I'd like to make him a little bit square made there out through his hip. But man, if you're looking for a bull to inject a tremendous amount of body and rib shape, a bull that has some added substance and mass to your cattle, uh, definitely look into this bull here. Nice pair of bulls there. Congratulations. Just a single entry here in the limousine bull show, a real practical, functional kind of bull that, that 
in this January bull. You look at his weight, he's weighing 1440. I mean, just worlds of performance in him. And that you look at him as far as his overall phenotype, everything fits together extremely good on him. He balances up really well. A cap that you ask him to take off and go, he's just excellent in his structure and his structural in his correctness. As you watch him go, just a really good kind of bull in this single entry. Results from Class 6 of the Charlotte Bull Show. Lot 27 winning with Love It Aimless Charlotte. Lot 26 second with West Fork Ranch. Now entering into the North Show ring, we have Class 7, four entrances here. Lot 24, Crescent Cattle Company. Lot 23, Benish Cattle Company. Lot 22, Bullard Cattle Company. Lot 21, Birch Cattle. All these are February born bulls. Again, that class seven of limousine bulls, a single entry featuring a lock six, David Berry. Now in the ring, class eight, lock four, Ochsner, limousine with an October 2017 bull. A reminder, as we roll through these shows, we will not have a break between the limousine and Gilby show. It'll start promptly after the limousine show finishes up here. Well, here's an October bull that could stand a lot of competition. How soft made this bull is. It's just super flexible. You, when you ask him to take off and go, you love the reach on both ends of his skeleton as you watch him move. Uh, really good in his top shape. And then look at his quarter, how much natural thickness he exhibits out here. The bone work kind of fits with everything above that as well. Just an excellent high quality individual in this October bull. We get into our late February bull class here in the Charlotte side, and uh, I'm really uh, pleased with these uh, two bulls on the top end of this class. I think they exhibit a tremendous amount of quality out here. Uh, the young man's bull is going to start the class off with, more, with, with, for me, just such a good necked up headed bull. I, I love how he transitions from his swore rib to his center rib and body. That bull gives you a really nice high quality look there, and I just read that bull as the soundest and most athletic when he gets out and goes. Probably the next best balance bull here in second. I like his look and style from the side. I love his added length and extension he has. That's a really long spine bull that's long and square made out through his hip. You know, the bull is probably a little bigger foot and heavier featured uh, relative to our class winner. You know, maybe a bull that just isn't as blown apart there in his four rib shape, uh, but a bull that I still read pl plenty pr practical there in terms of the center rib and body. Uh, just a nice bull there to come in second. Probably the real stout, powerful bull here is in third. Uh, he's probably a nickel more modern in terms of his type and kind. I like the turn and shape that he has to his rib quite a, uh, probably the, the best in terms of class. You know, that bull at times just gets a little coarser and rounder about his shoulder. I like to see him handle his passion and nickel better, but I love his added volume and, and mass that that bull has. Here's no question a real youthful bull of the class. You know, a bull that's got some length and extension. Uh, just that bull, we'd like to mass him up just a nickel from behind. I'd like to see him uh, be more practical there about his body and his rib. Nice set of bulls there. Congratulations. Again, that Class 8 was a single entry uh, featuring Lot 4, Auctioner, and Limousine with that October 2017 bull. This is our final class in the South Arena here featuring Lot 3, David Berry. Lot two, Leishman Performance Limousine, and they've got lot one as well, Leishman Performance Limousine. These are April 2017 bulls. And one more reminder, we will, after we finish up with the limousine show, roll right into our Gelby Balancer show. Now, er, results first from class seven of the Charlotte Bulls show. First, 20, lot 21, Birch Cattle. Second, Benish Cattle Company, lot 23. Third, Lot 22, Bullard Cattle Company. Fourth, Lot 24, Crescent Cattle Company. Now entering into the ring, Class 8, including Lot 20, Birch Cattle. Lot 19 will be a scratch. Lot 18, Birch Cattle. 
Lot 15 substitute, Sondra Upshar Lay. Again, Lot 15 is a substitute. Lot 17, Sondra Upshar Lay. All February born bulls. We just got two April limousine bulls out here to end with in this particular show. And boy, what a nice bull to start with out of the pair of these. A real good looking, real complete kind of bull. One that's just super good in his lines and the way he is, his angles in his body. Uh, he's got enough slope to that shoulder. A uh, bull that's really complete in his muscle shape. And then uh, complement that with the amount of natural body depth and spring of rib that he has in him. Just an excellent, excellent kind of bull. Uh, there's no doubt that you really gravitate to this bull. It ends up second in his soundness. So just tremendous reach as you watch him move. Big testicle kind of bull. Uh, one that just isn't as stout made or not quite as much shaped in him as what we've got in our class winner, but an excellent, excellent super structured kind of bull that ends up going second. Finishing that final class of limousine bulls coming in at the top lot, one, lot three, David Berry, and lot two, Leishman Performance Bulls. We had a scratch in that class. We will now bring in the top two from each class for selection of Grand Champion, Reserve Grand Champion Limousine Bull. Top two from that first class, class six, features lot nine, Auctioner Limousine. And Lot 12, Hunt Limousine Ranch with those February 18 bulls. Class 7, David Berry. And Class 8, Auctioner Limousine. We'll come back into the ring. And that final class, Lot 3, David Berry. And Lot 2, Leishman Performance Limousine. Again, this is for selection of your Grand Champion, Reserve Grand Champion Limousine Bowl. Well, you folks ringside watching this Charlie show, what an, what an impressive set of uh, February born bulls here within this class. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, just the way it kind of worked out for me within this class is I'm going to leave the cattle the way they came in here. And it, it's a tremendous set of bulls all the way through here. I think you folks ringside need to go visit with these uh, consigners within this class because I think it's a tremendous amount of quality in all four of these bulls all the way through here. Uh, there's not a bad one in the set, but with that being said, there's definitely one that just uh, definitely brought the gun to the knife fight out here is uh, the bull that's going to win the class. That's a really good-looking bull from the side. I, I love his balance and his lines that that bull has. He's, he's so long and square out through his hip, and I love the way he handles his hip and hind leg when he goes. Uh, just a masculine, good-looking bull that's uh, got a tremendous amount of mass and volume to him. Uh, you know, probably within this class, it not maybe got a little closer for me between second and third, and uh, it probably is where you, where you want to lay your priorities within this class. And uh, for me, I like the added balance and look in the bull here in second. That bull, I think, is just simply more collected in his spine. Uh, that bull is a little stronger down the top line there for me. I like his added length of body, I guess, from the profile, a nickel better than the bull that's coming in third. He's a bigger-footed, heavier-structured bull. Is he probably the deepest and softest rib bull we got out here known? But I like his skeleton. I like his build. I just read a lot of longevity there in that bull as well. There's no question. Here's probably the more moderate bull here coming in third in terms of having some extra stoutness and power. I like his forerib shape maybe the best. I like his center rib and body quite a bit out here as well. That bull's got plenty of red meat and muscle in him there as well. You know, maybe a bull at times that reads just a nickel shorter there out through his hip. But a bull, man, that's going to inject a tremendous amount of body and rib and mass. Uh, that bull's going to do a great job there. Uh, just a, probably a big stout mass of the bull here to close the class off with. I love his turning shape through his center rib and body. He's probably one of the thicker top, thicker ended bulls within this class, and there's no question about that. I just like to see this bull be a little smoother from the profile. He gets a little coarser there at the shoulder, but that doesn't take away from his added volume and mass and stoutness that that bull has. Tremendous class of bulls here. Congratulations to those exhibitors. Results from Class A of the Charlotte Bull Show. Lot 20, Birch Cattle will win. Lot 18, Birch Cattle in second. 
Lot 15X, again, that is a substitution. You can find the additional paperwork in the north stand, Sondra Up Charlet in third, and Lot 17, Sondra Up Charlet in fourth. Now entering into the North Show Ring, Class 9, with Lot 6, Bullard Cattle Company, Lot 13, McIntosh Chank Charlet, and Lot 12, Schnuli Ranch. These are early February born bulls. Well, this has been tremendous, and I talked about it a little bit in the Angus show how impressed I was with that bull show, and then we get into these limousines who didn't have near the numbers in this particular show is what was in the Angus, but this is tremendous as far as the quality. There is no doubt each one of these four class winners have something just a little bit different to offer if you're going to buy one or you need something, whatever you need in your cows. You've got a bull out here that can do it. Uh, and what's been most impressive to me, one of the things is how good testicle these things are. I mean, you look at, they've even measured them. They're big for their age. The, the shape is right uh, on these bulls. And uh, the future that we see in these younger cattle, that uh, whether you're going to continue to show them or just their growth pattern is going to be tremendous. The amount of shape that's in them, and then we get into these older bulls, you can pretty much see how they're going to end up or as herd bulls, and, and the extension that you have in them has just been most, most impressive. You know, there's two out here that hit me really hard in their class, um, and it's just a, basically a towing cost on which one that is going to end up winning uh, but both tremendous tremendous individuals and i'm not taking trying to take anything away from the other four bulls out here but there's two of them just really really good in, in their type and kind and the bull to win is a two-year-old down here congratulations reserve this calf that won the first class just a tremendous individual as well give him a nice hand And your grand champion limousine bull at the 2019 Nebraska Cattlemen's Classic going to lot three, David Berry with that April 2017 bull. Your reserve grand champion, lot nine auctioner limousine with your February 2018 bull. Again, we are going to move right into our Gelby Balancer show. Over here in our early uh, February born bulls here, uh, three really nice bulls out here. Uh, the bull I'm going to start off with, though, I just like his basic build and kind. I think this bull just simply offers more quality in terms of structure and build. Uh, just a really square made kind of a bull that's super practical there in terms of the center rib and body. I love his added stoutness of feature and his added masculinity that that bull offers. Just a nice place to land here, I think, within this class. The bull that's going to come second is probably a nickel longer body from the side. He's a really nice profiling bull. I love how big, thick, and uh, big quarter that bull is. I like how he ties his hip and hind, hind leg in there. Maybe a bull for us that isn't just as uh, blown apart there in his four rib shape. Maybe a bull that maybe just gets a nickel open there in his shoulder. But I love his added stoutness of feature. I love his length and his power that that bull uh, possesses. The bull that's coming here in third is another thick made, heavy structure kind of a bull. A bull that's got some depth and softness to his rib. Maybe a bull for me, I just like to see him be more comfortable when he gets out and goes. But the large test of the bull that's going to close the class here for us just has an ample amount of volume to go with that. Boy, an excellent March efforts cap to start out the Gelby show with. The female is just really good in her spine and her top, how level she is out through her hip. She has enough extension up through that front end. You love the condition she's in at this age. Just a really big future in front of this young heifer calf. Results from class side of the Charlay side. Lot 13, McIntosh Chank Charlay will win.
second, lot 12, Shanuli Ranch, and third, lot six, Bullard Cattle Company. We now welcome into the ring class 10. This will be our final class of the Junior Bull Division with lot 11, Shanuli Ranch, lot 10, LaFrage Farms, and lot nine, Love It, Amos Charlet, all January born. And as we move into our Gilly Balancer show here today, we, of course, kick off with our heifers in that first class. It featured Lot 25 over Miller Gilly and Red Angus with a March 2018 heifer. We get set into our second class here of Gilly Balancer heifers featuring Lot 22, Moss Farms, Lot 21, Stein Kruger Farms, and Lot 19, Stein Kruger Farms. These are February 2018 heifers in the South Arena. I'd also like to remind you as we work through our shows here this morning that sales will start promptly today at 12.30 with that Angus sale. The Cimital sale will follow at 1.30 and then the Charlotte sale at 2.30, Limousine at 3.30 and the Gelly sale at 4 o'clock. But we will start promptly at 12.30 today with that Angus sale. Nice class of January bulls, and uh, I think all three of these bulls really differ in terms of their type and kind, and it probably just kind of depends on what your priorities are, are within your operation and what your intentions of doing. And I guess the bull for me that's going to start off the clash is simply had the most totals here for me. I like his shape to his fore rib and his body. I like his added stoutness and power. I think that bull probably comes together the best in terms of the profile to give you the nicest, most balanced look. I would like to make him a little flatter and smoother there, more correct out of his shoulder. But I couldn't get past up his added body and, and rib shape that he had and his added mass and volume there to start this class off with. Young ladies bull here coming in second. I do like this bull a nickel better from the profile in terms of having some extra style and balance. He's a big footed, heavy structured kind of a bull. Has super long spine and long and square made. I guess the biggest thing for me is I like to see this bull just be a notch more opened up there in his fore rib shape. I like to see this bull be a nickel softer there in his body and his rib. But I love the length and extension in that bull. Uh, just a really nice, well-balanced bull from the profile there as well. The bull here coming in third is no question. Here's the real powerhouse bull of the set. He's big top. He's thick-ended. He's big body. He's big rib. Just the bull for me just gets a little rounder and coarser in his type and kind. I like to lengthen him out a nickel, but I love his added body and his rib, and he's super powerful when you get right behind him. Nice set of bulls. Nice trio. February heifers here in the Gelby Show. No doubt the most structurally correct, soundest one is one we got leading off this class. I mean, a female that's really uh, balances up extremely good. You like how smooth made she is from one end to the other. A uh, heifer that just puts a lot of really nice things together. This one here in second probably got a little more future look to her. She's a little more extended up through that front end, a little greener condition-wise. But with that, that takes away from her just a little bit as far as her overall power, a female that struggles just a little bit as you watch her move uh, out here but uh, really good in her bone work you really like the look of that one when you get off to the side of her a little more moderate kind of frame female that ends up third in this particular class one that you really like standing there uh after there's just not quite enough of her as far as bone work and muscle as compared to the two cattle that walked out ahead of her but really excellent in her overall phenotype Results from class 10 of your Junior Charlet Bulls. Winning will be lot 10, LaFrange Farms. Second, lot 9, Love It, Amos Charlet. And lot 11 and third, Schnuley Ranch. We now bring in all our first places from class 5 to 10 for selection of the champion junior and reserve champion junior bull camp in the Charlet Show. Coming from class 5, lot 32, McIntosh Chank Charlet. Coming from class 6, lot 27, Love It, Amos Charlet. Coming from Class 7, Lot 21, Birchie Cattle. 
Coming from Class 8, Lot 20, Birchie Cattle. Coming from Class 9, Lot 13, McIntosh Chank Charlene. And coming from Class 10, Lot 10, Lafrage Farms. Results from Class 2 of those Gelly Balancer heifers coming in at the top. Lot 21, Steinkruger Farms. Lot 22 in second, Voss Farms. And Lot 19 in third, Steinkruger Farms. We now roll into Class 3 featuring Lot 18, Voss Farms. And Lot 17, Barwick Gelby. This is a, Voss Farms have a January 2018 bull. And Barwick Gelby has a December 2017 bull. Again, this is Class 3 of our Gelby Balancer show. Well, it's a really nice pair of heifers here, this December and January heifers. You know, you, I wouldn't argue a bit if you want to put them the other way, uh, but because they're both excellent kind of females, there's just, to me, there's just a little more genuine shape in this one to win. Up in her top and out through her loin, and then you look at her from a profile standpoint, she shows me just a little bit more natural shape in her quarter than what we've got in this January. Both females are good at the ground as you watch them go. Uh, females that have a lot to offer as far as brood cow look to them, and there's no doubt this one in second is going to be tremendous in that regard. Excellent pair of females in this particular class. Boy, and we get into this calf division out here, and uh, it's been a tremendous set of bulls and these calves all the way through here, and uh, you know, all the way starting with our young March calf down here, and uh, probably within this set, this March calf probably has the biggest weight per day of age advantage out here within this set, and uh, I guess my hat's off to that added performance and growth within that bull out here, but all these bulls I, I just love in terms of having that added masculinity and, and stoutness and power. You know, the Charlet breed is, is known for injecting cattle with some added rapid growth and some added shape and dimension of the muscle but with that being said we're still in a show ring atmosphere out here and i guess for me there's a there's a pair of bulls within this lineup uh, that just fit the bill for me super super good in terms of having some qual extra quality of look and balance uh, just having some really sound good structured bulls out here with that being said as well uh, again i ask you uh you folks ringside to go back in the barn and, and visit with these consigners on this tr tremendous set of bulls all the way through here and our respective seconds over here on the left. I know we sent some even really good bulls back to the barn there yet with a couple of those classes that were just ultra, ultra deep. So I'm truly impressed. I think this is probably one of the deepest uh, bull lineups I've had here uh, this week so far within uh, ju judging these seal cattle. So my hat's off to these consigners for bringing an outstanding set of bulls. I'll go show you the two that I like here within this division. Congratulations.
Results from that class three of Gelby Balance for heifers coming in at the top lot 17 Barwick Gelby with that December 17 heifer. And then second lot 18 Boss Farms with that January 18 heifer. Well, we get into this last class of these Galvies and end up having these two pairs out here and just excellent, excellent kind of cows that they have become here recently. You love the udder quality, the teat size on both these cows. There's one to win to me is just a lot smoother made. A female that hasn't come apart by having that calf. You like how she transitions from her forerib to her shoulder. You love how straight line she is and level hip. Uh, a cow that just really good in her udder quality and uh, like I said her teeth size got that really nice bull calf walking there behind her just an excellent excellent female not trying to take anything away from this cow that ends up being second to her because a lot of the same things can be said as far as her udder and teeth size you know that cow uh, just comes apart a little bit more than what we've got in our class winner uh, since she's had a calf a uh, female that really good in the center part of her body. You just love the amount of depth of body and spring of rib that she exhibits out here. Got an excellent, excellent heifer calf walking there beside her as well. Uh, my compliments to both these exhi exhibitors on nice pairs. In the North Show ring, your grand champion, Junior. Charlay Bull Camp will go to and out of Class 8, Lot 20, Birchy Cattle Company. Your reserve champion, Junior Bull Camp, and the Charlay Show will go to Class 7, Lot 21, Birchy Cattle Company. We now welcome into the ring and to our intermediate bull classes, Class 11, Lot 8, McIntosh Shank Charlay with a December 2017 born bull. Final class of Gelly Balancer Heifers, class four, coming in at the top, lot 15, September Farms, the Ritalin Company. They also took that second spot with lot 16 that featured a March 2017 and April 17. Just a, single, just a single entry over here in the Charlie Bull Show. And, uh, you know, this young man uh, brought us a class winner in that last calf division and brings us a really good one here again. Uh, man, you got to love this bull's just practicality in terms of body and rib. I love his stoutness and, and his mass that bull has. Just a sound, good, athletic, good structured bull that's going to be able to cover a lot of cows and a lot of terrain. Uh, congratulations to you. And we bring back into the ring here the top two of each of our classes for selection of Grand Champion, Reserve Grand Champion, Gelby Balancer Heifers. This will feature Lot 25, Overmiller Gelby, and Red Angus with a March 2018 bull. From that second class, Lot 21, Steinkruger Farms. From that second class, Lot 21, Steinkruger Farms with a February 2018 heifer. And Voss Farms, Lot 22, with a February 2018 heifer. Class 3, Lot 17, Barwick Gelby, Lot 18, Voss Farms, with a January 2018 heifer and December 2017 heifer. And Class 4, Lot 15 and 16, September Farms and Riddle Company, with April and March 2017 heifers. Just another single entry here in the Charlet Show and a, another uh, November born bull here that, uh, man, you got to love his length and extension in this bull. Uh, just a really nice pattern bull from the side. I love his, how smooth he is up front in terms of his uh, angulation there through his shoulder. A uh, bull that still has plenty of mass and volume to go with it. Just a really nice single entry here. Congratulations. To catch everyone up on the North Show ring in the Charlay Intermediate Bull Show, Class 11 was a single entry with Lot 8, McIntosh, Shank, Charlay, December born. 
Class 7, Lot 7, or Class 12, Lot 7, LaFrage Farms with an October 2017 board. Now we welcome into the ring Class 9, four entrances here with Lot 5, Saunter Up Charlet Ranch, Lot 4, LaFrage Farms, Lot 3, Bullard Cattle Company, and Lot 2, LaFrage Farms. These all July and August 2017 born bulls. We're going to pick a champion Gelby over here and Boy, you can sure see where these are going to end up as cows. As you look at that cow down there that won that last class, these young heifers uh, have a big, big future in front of them. Uh, it looks to me like their condition that they're in uh, and what their quality that they exhibit out here, uh, just an excellent, excellent show. And, and like I said, you know, you can see how these things are going to turn out with these cows, the utter quality, teat size, if they're all like that, uh, this breed is headed in the right direction. Um, impressive set of cattle we didn't have a lot of numbers in this particular show the two head i like out here to win are the two heifers that come out of that third class will be your champion reserve galvey give them a nice hand congratulations Congratulations to your grand champion Gelby Balancer female going to lot 17 Barwick Gelby with that December 17 heifer. Your reserve grand champion lot 18 Boss Farms with that January 18. Those were both out of class three. We will move right into our Gelby Balancer bulls now. Again, we want to recognize all of our FFA youth with us today. If our FFA students want to start heading over to the Extension Building for your contest, FFA youth, head to the Extension Building. Another nice class of, uh, I guess, uh, late summer born bulls here. Uh, the bull I'm going to start off with, though, I just love this guy's build. I love his foot shape. I love the size of his foot. I love his bone structure that this bull has, and he's so sound and athletic when he gets out and goes. I just like that bull's out of practicality and masculinity and ruggedness in this class to, to start here for me. Probably the smoother, balanced bull is coming here in second. I like how strong and collected this bull is down the top line. He's a really long spine kind of a bull that's got plenty of shape and dimension when he's stepping right behind him. You know, maybe a bull that just isn't as sound structured out of his front end relative to our class winner, but I still think that bull still has some added function and durability to him. A uh, tremendous amount of power in that bull as well. You know, here's, here's probably the real big top stout hip bull of the set, a bull that's real practical there through the center rib and body. I like to see that bull just be a nickel longer body from the profile, maybe tie everything together, nickel neater as well. The bull that's running off the class definitely maybe has a class advantage in terms of having some true shape right behind his shoulder. A bull that's really stout made out through his hip as well and has some turn and shape to his body. That bull just needs to be nickel, a, bit, a bit more comfortable when he gets out and go. Nice set of bulls there, though. Congratulations. Results from Class 9 of the Intermediate Charlet Bull Show. Winning Class 9 will be Lot 5, Saunter Up Charlet Ranch. Second, Lot 2, LaFrange Farms. Third, Lot 3, Bullard Cattle Company. Fourth, Lot 4, LaFrage Farms. We'll now bring in our class winners from Class 11, 12, and 9 for selection of the champion and reserve champion, Intermediate Charlet Bull. Coming back from Class 11 will be Lot 8, McIntosh Tank Charlet. Coming back from Class 12 will be Lot 7, LaFrange Farms. And coming back from Class 9 will be Lot 5, Saunter Up Charlet Ranch. As we move into our uh, Gilly Balancer Bull Show here, our first class features Lot 14, September Farms. And Lot 13, John C. Oswald and Sun Farms. 
Lot 14 is a March 2018 bull as well as that Lot 13 March 2018 bull. Nice pair of bulls to start this bull show out with these two March calves. Definitely one that gravitates to the top of this pair. This black bull, really complete, nicely balanced kind of calf to use. Uh, really like the amount of testicular, testicular size we see under him. You like the shape of him as well. A uh, bull that's really fluid and flexible as you watch him go. This red bull ends up second. Sure one that has a lot of reach as you watch him move. A really good in his joints. He's just not as far along condition-wise, and there's no doubt he's got all the right parts and pieces. Just as he gets a little bit farther along or more conditioned on him, the bull's going to be a little more competitive at that point. Coming in at the top of that first class of our Gilly Balancer Bulls, Lot 14, September Farms, and second, Lot 13, John C. Oswald and Sun Farms. We now bring in our second class of Gilly Balancer Bulls. This features Lot 12, September Farms, Riddle and Company, Lot 11, J.J. Beeler, Lot 10, Steinkruger Farms, and Lot 9, J.J. Beeler. These are all February 2018 Bulls. We get into our intermediate division over here on the Charlet side, and uh, we got four really good bulls out here in this lineup. I know we just had a couple single classes out here with them, the first two classes, uh, December and the first and the November, and then we got some August and July bulls there in that next, uh, the next class there, but a lot of good quality in these bulls. Uh, just uh, these bulls out here do have some extra added performance and growth. Uh, these bulls are starting to get that extra masculinity that you like to see as well, but yet these bulls are still sound and athletic at the ground. Uh, good structured bulls that are going to cover a lot of terrain. I guess there's two bulls that, that work really good for me. I'm going to use the older bull, the last class to be our champion in this division. I'm going to follow up with the December bull to be reserved out here. Congratulations. Results from your champion intermediate bull in the Charlay show. Your champion intermediate bull will be out of class nine, lot five, Sandra up Charlay. Your reserve champion intermediate Charlay bull will come from class 11, lot eight, McIntosh Tank Charlay. We now welcome into the class, into the ring our final class of senior bulls. This will be class 10, lot one, LaFrange Farms, class, or lot 34 and 33, Pesic Charlay. These are all born between late March and mid-April 2017. Following our champion senior bull selection, we will then bring in both all of our grand champion and reserve champion bulls for final selection of champion and reserve champion Charlay Bull.
Boy, this is a really good class of these February bulls. And there's all the way through here. I mean, if you like that bull that ends up fourth, that's perfectly fine to me because that is a really nice bull. But this one to win, to me, is just the most complete, uh, nicely balanced, smoothest made bull of the four we've got out here. I mean, this bull is really, really good as far as his, his top shape, his hip shape, and then he carries it down low enough to balance everything out on him. He's really clean made down low in his sheath. Uh, just an excellent, excellent kind of bull to use in this particular class. Now, this one here in second is sure one that you like from in his front end. I mean, he's really jack-necked, or his neck comes out of his shoulders a little bit higher than does the third place bull, a bull that has a lot of performance in him. You like the testicular size we see under him. A uh, bull that is good as you watch him move as far as the cushion on his pastern. Uh, you might just like to change him just a little bit as you watch him go away from you or a little more pleasing on bulls on either side of him as you watch him go out in that regard. This bull here in third, just so impressive from a muscle standpoint. I mean, this bull is tremendous in his natural shape and thickness. He just gets a little bit, to me, he runs downhill just a little bit. Uh, not quite as uh, jacked out of his front end or his neck doesn't come out of his, his shoulders quite as high, but a lot of performance as well in that one. Uh, just an excellent, excellent functional kind of bull that ends up going third. Now, this bull in fourth is really unique. I mean, you love this bull in his front one-third of his body. A uh, bull is just so extended, so good in that regard, real youthful looking yet. A uh, bull that you love the center part of his body. There's just not quite as much muscle in him as what we've got in the three bulls that walked out ahead of him. The balance isn't quite as nice as what we have in the three bulls ahead of him. But excellent, excellent kind of bull that ends up going fourth in this class. We get to our last class over here in the Charlotte Bulls side, and uh, man, this is a pretty impressive class winner we got out here, and uh, boy, this bull is good for having some extra age on him. I love the foot size and the shape of this bull. Uh, you want to talk about one that can just get out and motor, and, and it's so good structured and flexible at both ends. Uh, this bull is really good, and yet he ties it into a really high-quality, good-looking package. I think if anyone's looking for uh, an older coming two-year-old bull that's got a tremendous amount of breeding versatility, uh, that's a, that's a high-quality bull there to start. You know, maybe got a little closer here between second and third here for me. I like the added shape and the dimension in the bull coming here in second. I think this bull reads the nickel better down his top line as he's stronger, more collected there. I like his added shape and the dimension, the muscle that he has. You know, maybe a bull you'd like to see him just be a nickel softer there about his rib and his body. That's maybe where the bull here in third has a has a class advantage. He's a really deep side soft rib kind of a bull. That bull for me just needs to be a little stronger down the top line. I'd like to see him be a little square there out through his hip as well. Nice bull on the top end there though. Results from that second class of Gelly Downs for Bulls coming in at the top, lot 11, J.J. Buehler. Second, J.J. Buehler as well with lot 9. Third, lot 12, September Farms and Riddle and Company. And fourth, lot 10, Steinkruger Farms. That was a class of February 18 Bulls. We're now into class 8 of our Gelly Balance for Bulls. This features lot 8, J.J. Buehler. Lot 7, Barwick Gelly. Lot 6, and lot five, John C. Oswald and Sons Farms. Again, this is another class early February 2018 Bulls. Results from class 10. Lot one, LaFrange Farms will be your champion at Senior Bowl. Lot 33, Pesic Charlet will be your reserve champion at Senior Bowl. We'll now move into overall selection for your champion and reserve champion Charlet Bowl of 2019. Nebraska Cattlemen's Classic. Coming back from our Junior Bowl calves will be your Grand Champion Junior Bowl calf, Lot 20, Birchy Cattle. As well, your Reserve Champion there, Lot 21, Birchy Cattle. Coming back from your Intermediates will be your Class 9, Lot 5, Sondra Up Charlet Grand. And then coming back from Class 11, Lot 8, Megatosh Charlet, Chank Charlet as your Reserve. Coming back from Class 10, your Senior Grand Champion Bull, Lot 1, LaFrange Farms. And your reserve champion, Lot 33, Pesic Charlet.
Get into this class of early February Gelfie Bulls. Uh, sure, some differences in, in these four Bulls out here. And no doubt the highest performing Bull is one we've got winning in this class. Just uh, loads of overall weight and mass of this bull. You like the look that he gives you from a profile standpoint, the shape in his quarter and down low into that stifle. Uh, sure one that you gravitate to just on a profile standpoint. This bullet ends up going second. Sure, a lot greener condition-wise. A uh, real youthful-looking bull. Extended up through that front end. He's probably a little truer in the way he moves as you watch him go away from you. Uh, then does our class winner, but there's just not quite enough bull there yet. Uh, real good-looking from the side. You just need to stouten that one up just a notch as far as overall muscle to get him around that bull that walked out ahead of him, but really good built. You love, and like I said, you just love the look of that one on from a profile. We get into a bull here in third, uh, sure one that you like as far as his overall shape. There's just a little bit more extension to this bull than was our fourth place bull, uh, a little bit longer in his hip uh, than what we see in the fourth place bull. You like how this one can move, he's very flexible. And same with the bull that ends up coming in behind him. The, both them bulls are really good at the ground. You like the bone work that's underneath them. Uh, this one just gets a little bit shorter in his overall length than does the calf that walked out ahead of him. But excellent, excellent class from one end to the other. Folks, ringside have been here for the start of this Charlet show and are, are still here to finish it because it's been truly impressive all the way through here. Uh, it's been an outstanding set of cattle here, and uh, I know I've done a few couple breeds here uh, yesterday and this morning here before the Charlets, but uh, my hat's off to these Charlet consigners as they uh, brought us a tremendous set of females and a, and a super superior high quality set of bulls out here. Uh, th these bulls are just uh, truly tremendous. Um, it, 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 it don't matter what type of operation or what color of cattle you breed, um, th these bulls out here are just flat good. Um, it, it's, a, it's a really high quality set of bulls out here, and uh, it's been a lot of fun sorting them, I guess. I always enjoy sorting a, sorting a, a tremendous amount of quality in cattle, so it, it's been fun sorting through these bulls. Again, I ask you folks uh, ringside or looking to purchase cattle today to go back and, and visit with these consigners. I know the work and the time it takes to get, to get cattle to this stage and the, this type of quality here uh, it, it's a lot of work and it's a lot of time so with that being said uh, it's been a lot of fun sorting these uh, these uh, shows the last two days i like to thank uh, uh, the Nebraska cattlemen for asking me to come out here and evaluate evaluate your cattle it's been truly fun and truly honored and uh, again congratulations to all these exhibitors you folks ringside go ahead and select the two bulls you'd like to take home today i'm going to go show you the two that i like Results of that third class, class eight of our Gelly Balancer Bulls in the South Arena, coming in at the top, lot seven, Barwick Gelly. Second, lot eight, J.J. Beeler. Third, lot five, John C. Oswald and Sons Farms, and they took fourth as well with lot six. Results from the 2019 Nebraska Cattlemen's Classic Charlotte Bull Show, your grand champion overall Charlotte Bull. We'll go from Class 8, it's Lot 20 in the Junior Bulls, that is Birchie Cattle. And your reserve grand champion will come from the Senior Bull Division, Class 10, Lot 1, LaFrange Farms. 
That will conclude the Charlay Show here at the Nebraska Cattlemen's Classic. Join us for the sale at 2.30 this afternoon or directly following the Simmental Show. We also want to thank again our judge here for both the Simmental and Charlay Shows, Ty Beyer. We also want to thank the Southeast Community College students for keeping our rings in clean shape. I do want to remind everybody, enjoy everything here at the Classic today. We'll start our first sale at 12.30, but make sure and enjoy our commercial trade show, Cunningham's Cafe here. Cactus Jack is located over here behind Mycogen Seeds and Coon Night. So enjoy your afternoon here at the Classic. If you're needing to get a buyer's number, buyer's numbers, you can get that done in the front concourse by the front door. Jim Lowe.